هموطنان ما در شمال کالیفرنیا میدونم خیلی فعال هستند در کارهای فرهنگی، اجتماعی و سیاسی و یه همچین کار زیبا نقاشی شده توسط دوستان و به واشنگتن رفت الان روی خط دوستان داریم از شمال کالیفرنیا، از تورنتو، از واشنگتن همه امیدوارم روی خط باشن و اجازه بدید که اگر ممکنه با خانم لورا فرایر صحبت کنیم که ایشون گفتم رئیس هیئت اوبنای دانشگاه فوتیل کالج و دانشگاه دیانزا هستن که الان نقاشی رو با خودشون به واشنگتن بردن میس فرایر اف یو هیر مای وایس گود ایوننگ تو یو گود ایوننگ آی ام سو گلاد آی کود گت این تاچ وت یو اند آی هرد یو هاف دان ا ویری گود جاب بای تیکینگ دی پینتینگ to Washington. Can you tell us a little bit that uh, what is going to happen and how nice, it was very nice of you to do this, to, at this day and age, to do this, a big painting to take it to Washington in order uh, to present it for the inauguration. Uh, we are grateful to you. Well, first of all, let me tell you that it is my very great honor to represent or to be the courier, actually, the courier of the Iranian Women Federated Club in our area in Cupertino. And it is a great honor for me. And uh, it's these women who have inspired me, and I truly want to do them justice by uh, taking this painting to Congressman Mike Honda, and uh, hopefully uh, that will be forwarded on to the president And may I also apologize to you for not speaking your language, because I know it would be better for me to speak your language. But uh, even so, I am honored to speak with you at this moment in English. Thank you very much. And we are so happy that you are in, uh, working with, the, uh, with our uh, Persian uh, friends up north. I know I have been in uh, your colleges, uh, Futil College and the Anza College, and I know through Ms. Najat, uh, you are uh, very active with the Persians and you have many programs for them and I'm grateful to you and others that they make this possible. Well, we have uh, Persian studies and of course we have a, a, a wonderful international group of students and we encourage anyone to apply. It's a, it's a wonderful program, but it's also in collaboration with the Iranian Women's Federated Club of course, with Ms. Najad, who's one of the leaders. And uh, we have a, a, a multicultural group there with Asian women, Hispanic Latino women, uh, women of many different backgrounds and many different cultures. And in fact, we're having a International uh, Women's Day on March 8th, where women from many multicultural backgrounds will do Uh, a conference on expression through art, which I'm looking very much forward to. Uh, I should tell you this program is seen throughout the United States and uh, uh, Central America and in Australia and Middle East. They are everybody in Iran, they are seeing uh, this program and they are hearing you. Uh, I should tell uh, our friends in Iran and other parts of the world that it was a beautiful ceremony today. Uh, on steps of uh, Lincoln Memorial. I don't know, I watched it on television here and I enjoyed it. Well, actually, I was there. <laughs> I was there at the ceremony with my family and it was truly, uh, I was overcome with emotion being there with, the, uh, with the, uh, the memorial of Lincoln who extinguished slavery in our country and having the first president, uh, uh, the uh, African-American president there, president, Uh, and the, the ceremony was for, in his honor, and to be there witnessing that event was truly uh, an emotional experience for me. Also, being an immigrant, if, if this is uh, presented to all over the world, you must know that I myself am an immigrant, and so I share a lot of the, the struggles and the, um, the, uh, the struggles with the, the women of, of, of Iran in, in this country. And uh, this is what I was dreaming about America, that that is beautiful, an African-American 
uh, whose father came from Africa, uh, is uh, president-elect, and uh, yourself uh, being immigrant and uh, to do so much in education, and Ms. Najat coming from another part of the world, uh, Iran, Middle East, uh, to be the artist and uh, Honorable Mike Honda, Japanese American, uh, to be the congressman. This is fantastic. This is what everybody dreams of America. That's it. Well, and that is so true. That is so true. And this is what I never thought I would see it in my lifetime to see a, a, a Barack Obama to become president of our country. But but see, things happen, and 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 it's truly. Uh, a wonderful, uh, uh, an exceptional and exciting moment in this country's history. And I know it's been uh, a difficult, especially with the media, with the, with the Iranian people, but I want them to know that, that we do have a wonderful constitution, and I know they believe that, because these women, these women do not give up. They try so hard, and I, I'm so proud of it, and they inspire me. Mrs. Najat, the artist and the one who has been very active in Northern California and with the activities they have, especially for women, and I'm so glad they have a program on March 8th, the International Women's Day, and I know that she has a, p a person like uh, Ms. Friars to support her. I think it's going to be a successful uh, event. Uh, Ms. Fryer, do you have anything else to add to this uh, thing you have about March 8th? Uh, well, it, it, we will have women from, from all different cultures, uh, and they will do, uh, we will have a, a panel discussion on, on Interna International Women's Day, and we'll probably have some expression through dance and through uh, a painting and maybe some sculpture. And so, so I, I'm truly. It's a day where we can all come together and and not just talk about not talk about our differences, but what brings us together, which is art. Art is a is a wonderful thing to bring people together. Thank you very much. And uh, I know, uh, I'm sure uh, you weren't here, but I was here as a student when Dr. Martha Luther King uh, said, "I have a dream." And after 46 years. Uh, I don't know if that was his dream or uh, that uh, we are on the way to his dream. And uh, I'm, I congratulate you and your associates and all our uh, Iranian-American friends and viewers. Uh, to, we have in our lifetime, we see such a day as uh, January 20th for inauguration. And it's a beautiful painting. It's a beautiful painting. We showed, it, we showed the painting on the video to our viewers. They have seen the painting, that they have done a wonderful job, especially when uh, everybody uh, in Northern California, in Copertino and cities around there, they got together and they, everybody chipped in to some extent to make this possible. Thank you for your uh, congratulations. And uh, hopefully uh, in the near future, if you come up north or you come down to Los Angeles, uh, we can talk to you because when somebody works in the system here, on education system in uh, Foothill College or De Anza College, you are to be congratulated and hopefully we can have a moment to talk to you in the future about your colleges and the education system in your area. Well, thank you and it would be my pleasure any time to, to talk about that because it's the one place where uh, people from all backgrounds and any class, any culture can come and get an education and become uh, truly uh, be, become part of America and its fabric. So I, 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 I love being a representative of the college, and, and thank you for, for your comments. Thank you very much. Thank you very it much. It's my pleasure and my honor. Thank you. Thank you.